Hi everyone. Um, it's my honor to um, present our work, Decentralized Craft Learning with Adaptive Reference Data for On-Device POI Recommendation. So recommendation is a system to predict contents for users uh, based on its um, preferences or interactions. And the POI recommendation is one sequential task. Um, users has a, a sequential of checking data, such as the restaurants, the shopping mall, etc. And the task is to predict the preference on the next in uh, movement given the user's historical uh, checking sequences. And for most existing uh, work, they are cloud-based recommendation model. We have uh, like a giant and sophisticated model on the cloud, which is responsible for computing that is trained uh, on the user data, which is collected from the personal devices and output the recommendation list to the personal devices. Here, personal devices is only responsible for data collection and display. There are several pros, such as a high accuracy owing to the uh, giant and sophisticated models. And there are also uh, disadvantages, such as the privacy issues, because uh, sensitive user data is directly uploaded to the cloud. Uh, moreover, this system is heavily rely on the network, and uh, peak network traffic might impede the usability. Therefore, we have the on-device recommendation, where we move the model from the cloud side to the device side. Uh, here, centralized learning is one of the methods uh, where we have like a, a model on the device side, and uh, each device will upload uh, its uh, gradient or the parameters to the cloud server. And cloud server also have a model, which will aggregate and redistribute it, uh, the model to back to the device side. And there are several disadvantages according to this centralized learning paradigm, such as uh, the cloud server is heavily relied on. If the cloud server is shut down, it is possible to learn in this paradigm. Furthermore, uh, because every user has to communicate with the central server, uh, in the real world application, there are like thousands or millions of users. And uh, this kind of par paradigm have limited scalability. Therefore, we have another learning strategy called decentralized learning, where knowledge exchange is encouraged between devices. So unlike the centralized learning one, we have like direct knowledge exchange between devices. But how can we do that? One simple way is also similar to the centralized one is that we directly change the raw parameters or the gradients between two devices, right? But one advantage of on-device recommendation is personalization. Here, personalization not only means that we will uh, output a personalized uh, recommendation list for the device, but furthermore, the on-device model should be tailored for the individual user. Because like for the individual, we have like smartphones, smart cars, right? It has different uh, memory budgets, has different uh, computation abilities. So in this way, the devices will have a different model architecture. In this way, directly sharing parameters won't be a feasible way. So how can we do that? How can we do the knowledge exchange between heterogeneous model? One way is to directly change their soft decisions on the reference data. So imagine two devices, they will share their like um, predicting score or their uh, opinions on the same um, common item, for example, on the movies. And in this way, if we can just to eliminate the differences between two devices, they will become similar. And the knowledge learned from each individual will be transferred between devices. So this is one way we can exchange knowledge through the reference data. So here, reference data acts as a bridge between two devices. So there are also like several challenges, because since the reference data is a bridge, but how should we select the proper uh, reference data for different user. Because like for different user, it has like different uh, diverse preferences and data distribution. Each um, person will have like a very distinctive uh, checking sequence, such as uh, two, two people, they are, uh, they are always, they, uh, they, they like movie, but if we choose book as a reference data, in this way, the knowledge transfer, uh, knowledge transferring will be efficient and uh, ineffective. Um, Moreover, users will provide inaccurate soft decisions on the reference data, 
uh, they are not related or they are not interested, such as the uh, book and the movie example. So in this way, we should provide a feasible way to select proper uh, reference data for each individual user. So the solution is we can use uh, knowledge exchange between users on the adaptive reference data, which is tailored for each user, um, selected by the loss tracking during the training and the influence function estimation post the training. There are two stages for us to refine the reference data. And here is the general framework of it. And we'll only give a general opinion about it. And later we can discuss about the de uh, details if you like. And the first step is the candidate pool generation. Before we can select the reference data, we have to create a bunch of uh, candidates, right? And here, the server is only responsible for uh, accept um, candidates which are generated on the device side. So the device will upload it, uh, the um, less sensitive checking data, or even if the privacy issue is really important one, the device will, ge will automatically generate some fake uh, reference data and upload it to, to the server. And here, unlike the federated recommendation, where a server acts as a, a way to aggregate models and the redistributed models to the devices, here, server is only involved in the initial stage and, uh, and defines the neighbors for the user. So uh, on later of the training, the server will not, not be get involved. So the uh, training is mainly between the users through the knowledge, knowledge exchange. And here is the uh, collaborative learning par paradigm for user. They, they are trained both with their individual data here, like from the, uh, the bo bottom line, from the individual checking data, as well as with their neighbors. Uh, so this is also through a knowledge exchange uh, procedure we just discussed about uh, on the common, um, common items, or we can see the common reference data. And here uh, on the step two, you can see that we will track the loss of each reference data and we'll delete most of the uh, instances which we consider as noisy because they have a very large loss. Maybe they cannot provide a very valuable insight uh, during the uh, exchange, so we will delete it. Here is like the first uh, refinement stage. And here is uh, for the step three. After the training, we will use the influence functions to estimate the importance of each reference data instances. So this is the second stage for us to further refine the reference data. And at last, for each user, we will have like a tailored, uh, personalized uh, reference data. And uh, for the step four, the whole model will be retrained. And, and because the reference data is already tailored, is already adaptive, this procedure will be much more efficient and more, much more fast. And here's the uh, parts of our experiment results. And we choose like several baselines here, such as the centralized cloud model, which is like the model is deployed on the cloud server only. And for the centralized on-device model, it means that the model is devised, is deployed on the device side, but it is learned in a centralized way, like the, the federated learning. That is, there's no connection or communication between two devices. As for the three, the third kinds of uh, baselines, that is a decentralized collaborative learning model. There are knowledge exchange between uh, devices, but mainly they, all, they are simply exchange parameters or change gradients between devices. And the, we can see from the top key recommendations, our proposed model method will have a com com competitive uh, results. And uh, that is the end of the uh, presentation. Thanks so much for your attention.